right, let's set up your Visual C++ 2013 with SFML. First, you're going to hit File, go to New Project. You're going to go to General. You're going to make sure it's an empty project. We're going to name it SFML. You can name it whatever you want. You're going to hit OK. Once you hit OK, you're going to go to Solution Explorer on the right-hand side. Right-click SFML, or whatever you named it, and go to Properties. Once you're in Properties, you're going to make sure the configurations are all configurations. Then you're going to go to the VC++ directories. Hit the Includes directories. Hit the little arrow, then hit Edit. Then you're going to double-click the white space. You're going to see three, three dots. You're going to hit those three dots. Then you're going to go to the SFML that you downloaded, wherever you put it. I happen to put it in Documents. So I go into Documents. And then I'm going to go into the Include folder. Then I'm going to hit Select Folder. Then after that, you hit OK. You're going to do the same thing for the library, but you're going to use the library folder. And I'm going to double click the white space, hit the three dots, and go to wherever you downloaded SFML. You're going to go into the the LIB folder, go inside of it, and then press select folder, hit OK. Once that's done, you're done with this part. So now, let's hit the configurations, let's go to debug. Once we're in debug, you're going to hit the linker, then you're going to hit input. Once you're in input, you're going to go to additional dependencies. You're going to hit the little arrow, press edit, and you're going to write this in. And don't worry, the description will have all this stuff on the bottom. And this is basically the stuff that links the compiler, well, to the linker anyway, to find the libraries that you need so we can include the stuff that we need for our projects. And you'll see what I'm talking about a little later. All right, once you got that in, you're going to hit OK. And now, we're going to apply that. Now we're going to go to releases. Now that we're in releases, we're going to go to the same thing, do exactly the same thing, but we're going to write something a little different, so make sure you're writing it, <laughs> writing this exactly. Looks the same, but trust me, that little bit of difference will mess up your project, so make sure you can copy this correctly, please. Alright, once that's done, you're going to hit OK. And you're going to hit OK, and you're done for now. Now, let's get the Let's make sure that the DLL files are in your project. So we're going to go to wherever you put the SFML at. There it is. You're going to go into the bin folder. Once you're in the bin folder, you're going to copy everything. You don't really have to, but just safety purposes, you're going to copy everything. Go to the SFML folder where you have it. Go, go inside where your project is. And you're going to paste it in there. And there you go. You're set up. So now let's make sure that your project actually works. So we're going to go to source files, hit add, hit new item. We're going to make a new C++ file. And um, you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it game. Press add. And I'm going to paste this in. And I have this in the, the link below. And this basically just makes a blue bubble that's going to pop up on your screen. I'm going to hit debug. And boom, it works. So there you go, now you're set up and start messing around with SFML. Enjoy.